What's happening guys, Cooper Carter here for G66 and on this week's Fractal Friday, we're taking a look at the set lists feature for the Axefx 3, the FM9 and the FM3. Well, it's long been the number one request from pros, semi-pros, and hobbyist players alike, and now it's here and it's beautifully implemented. The brand new set list feature for the entire Fractal line allows you to build out up to 128 different songs, each containing up to six sections that can instantly then recall any preset and any scene within those presets. You can then easily add any of these 128 songs to four different set lists, each containing 32 different songs, reorder these songs easily, and if that's not enough, you can easily export your song lists and set lists and import an entirely different file for multiple different sets. Up until now, without the set list feature, you really had three options for using Fractal Units Live. Number one, if you're playing the same set every night, you could of course simply just order your presets in the order of the songs you're playing and pull them up every night in that order. Number two, if you're playing a set list that changes every night, you can reorder your presets every night and manage. Now, of course, this introduces the potential for error where you're overriding presets accidentally, and it also takes a long time to reorder presets in manage compared to how quickly you can reorder in set lists, which we'll see in just a minute. And of course, the third option we had up until now was to just write down the set list on a piece of paper, write down the preset numbers next to the songs, and then manually scroll up and down to those various presets between songs. Now, none of these are particularly good options, which is why the set list feature has now been implemented and makes life a whole lot easier. You can set up your sections, your songs, and then make a set list on your gear the day of or even at the show more quickly than you could do it even with a piece of paper and a Sharpie. So I'm on the Axefx 3, but what I'm about to show you is exactly the same on the FM9 and the FM3. We're going to go to sets and songs in Axedit, and here we have the manage set lists and song screen. Now I can easily break down each one of my songs into the sounds that I need. So for example, here's my first song. It has an intro, it's got a verse, it's got a chorus, and it's got a solo. And now for each of these four sections, we can select any preset at any scene in the entire unit. So for example, I'll use the Petrucci rig clean scene for my intro, I'll use the Petrucci Rig Crunch Scene for my verse. I'll use the Petrucci Rig Chorus Scene for my chorus. And the Petrucci Rig Lead for my lead. So here I'm recalling four scenes from the same preset. But let's make another song real quick. Section 1 will be Main. Section 2 will be Bridge. But this time, let's select two different presets. So for our main, we'll use the Spawn Q Rod. And for the bridge, we'll use the Dizzy VH4. And I'll use the default scene for both of those. And if I wanted to make more sections that use the same preset and then select some more scenes, I could simply use copy or swap and fill out the rest of these sections. Now it's so easy to make these songs that I'm not gonna waste your time showing you the steps as I make more songs. So let's import a song list that I've already made here. And now watch how quickly I can build out a set list for my show. I just click and drag any of my songs to wherever I need them. I can reorder them simply by dragging them around, name it, and then export one or all of my set lists to my computer for later import. And of course, creating and changing your set lists is done just as easily on the front panel of the unit by going to setup. FC set lists and songs, pressing the B knob to edit the set, and then selecting different songs with the B knob or moving them with the C knob. Then in the FC edit window of AxeEdit, you can either create a custom layout using the new set list category that selects different set lists, the songs in them, and song sections, or even easier, you can download the new sample layouts from the Fractal Forum and import them into your unit. I'm using an FC12 here, so I'm gonna import performance one set. And now right on my FC12, I have access to my six sections of every song, a button to advance the set list, and two buttons to go up and down by song. 
Now you don't need a paper set list on the floor because this button here will always tell you what song is coming up next. Pull up a set list, it'll pull up your songs in order, and your FC controller will list out the sections of that song, and each section will pull up any preset and any scene anywhere in the unit instantly. It's simple, it's elegant, it's powerful, and it's a complete game changer. I hope this very quick video has shown you just how quickly you can implement set lists to make your life live a whole lot easier and a lot more straightforward. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please do make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know what you think of set lists and what you'd like to see on an upcoming episode of Fractal Friday. And as always, if you want to get the absolute most out of your Fractal unit, whether that's an AxeFX 3, an FM9, or an FM3, make sure to visit classes.coopercarter.com for my complete Fractal Audio Masterclass series. For all things Fractal Audio, keep it right here on G66, and I will see you guys next week on Fractal Friday.